that time in my life was just a gosh, really exciting time because I was uh, reading for parts and, and acting, and I won't forget that I was reading for a film, and my friend gave me a script a month before this movie was to be shot and said, read this. This has got a part for you in a film called Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I was like, it's great. The week before, I had done my reading, and that week, the murders happened, and I, I was pretty much too hot, too hot to even touch. And it was sort of like, mm. I became a caricature for people to meet. When I testified, I walked in to hundreds, maybe it seemed like thousands my, my, in my head of media people with their cameras flashing who didn't know who I was. And then I came walking out after testifying with screams of Cato, Cato, Cato. And that moment I, I pretty much knew, first of all, the power of the media and then my life would change forever. And that everything I would do from that moment on became public. That was you know, somewhat devastating. And can you tell this jury where the defendant was between 9.35 and 11 p.m., sir? No, I cannot. I think he's guilty because now I saw everything in hindsight. When I was sequestered, I honored that. I didn't watch anything. And then when I didn't have to, I saw everything. My opinion started going, he's, he's a guilty man. People always ask me questions about what if, what if, and I, there's nothing, there's no answer to it because you can't, I can't go backwards. It was a double-edged sword. I became famous and I became famous for a, a horrific event. Sort of one of those things like, what actor wouldn't dream of having fame, but being thrust into fame for all the wrong reasons is terrible. Everything kind of went backwards. I became famous for nothing. And it was sort of like never has a man done so little to be recognized by so many. And so everything I didn't do, I have to do now in my life to prove that you know I'm still following the exact same career path that I had 22 years ago. Hi, I'm Kato Kalen, and I am the guest house expert. This is where we did guesthouserent.com, an actual guest house. I, I don't live in one now, but this is where we shot it. Tell them Cato sent you. <laughs>